the technological advancements from AI are, are not going to go away. We, we have a great opportunity with artificial intelligence to deliver on some promises that we thought wouldn't be available. And I think we've got a great opportunity right here, right now, to be able to use AI for things like um, societal development aims, for things like uh, carbon emissions and sustainability goals. I think some of the, the standout issues and risks that we have with AI systems um, that have come to light recently are, are things like um, human agency. So AI systems have the ability to create sophisticated outputs. And to some extent that takes away from humans, their ability to make the right decisions. And, and I think the, the loss of human agency is something that we have to be very, very aware of. And that risk has to be mitigated. Um, the other uh, risk we also have is um, robustness. So AI systems have the, the ability to sometimes give the different answers to the same questions. So I think technical robustness is in ensuring that AI systems generate the same result for the same question over a period of time is something that have to, has to be looked at as well. Um, another standout problem is, is privacy, you know, data privacy, the, the ability of AI systems to inadvertently leak confidential or private information about ourselves or about corporates um, is something that we also have to guard against. Um, I think transparency is a really important one. So the way a machine learning or an AI system works um, is non-linear. So to that extent, understanding how it arrives at a decision it arrives at is hard to do. There are techniques that allow us to be able to introspect how an AI system derived a particular answer, um, but they are only approximations. So I think the transparency of the algorithm whether it's machine learning or whether it's generative AI is something that we have to pay close attention to. Um, the, the other thing is, is bias. Um, we, we've seen bias creep into many systems and that really takes away their ability to support diversity and inclusion. So those biases inherent in data that trains our AI systems um, and biases within the system development lifecycle uh, is, is an ongoing area of work. And, and there are techniques to help mitigate that. But with generative AI, that's a particular problem because of the vast amount of data used to train the AI system. Um, and, and finally, I think we all have to be conscious of societal well-being. Um, we have to ensure that actually AI is deployed to benefit society and benefit society equally. Um, so that we, we can all avail ourselves of the great power that it has. Um, and, and I think the other risk is, is accountability. Organisations, in particular commercial organisations, need to demonstrate that they've got processes in place where if people need to seek redress for the output from an AI system, they're able to do so. And firms should take full accountability for how they create systems and how they operate systems. I think in, in answering this question for, for the financial sector, I believe there are great opportunities to deploy AI responsibly to benefit consumers. Um, one of the things certainly that generative AI gives us is the ability to create highly personalized interactions with our customers. So at the moment, um, anyone who banks in the UK with a high street banking has the same app on their phone and the same user interface through a browser. Um, yet we're all different. Um, so. What generative AI gives us is the ability to create highly personalized websites and highly personalized interactions that cater for individuals and individual circumstances. So for example, to be able to only deliver the content that a particular customer is interested in. For example, if it's someone that has a, a, a small business, they're, they're gonna be interested in certain products because they're highly relevant to them. Those people that are um, that maybe have a PAYE job, they're going to be interested in certain different things. They're going to be interested in what they inquired about last time they called the bank or last time they interacted with the system. So I think surfacing the relevant and the right 
results and propositions to customers is something that a lot of banks will be looking at. And I, and I believe that will really help customers and in particular society get the right answers and the most relevant answers. And, and I believe through doing that, that we can create better trust between organizations and their customers. I think technological advancements, um, we've seen them over 20 or 30 years. The technological advancements from AI are, are not going to go away. We, we have a great opportunity with artificial intelligence to deliver on some promises that we thought wouldn't be available. And I think we've got a great opportunity right here, right now, to be able to use AI for things like um, societal development aims, for things like uh, carbon emissions and sustainability goals. And we've seen all of that already. We've seen AI systems discover new drugs. We've seen AI systems used um, in the fight against COVID. So I think the way that some of these technologies arrive at those decisions, although at the moment they're not explainable to us, they have this wonderful ability of going beyond what human capacity to date has been able to provide for us. Um, and that's where I see the great opportunity uh, of AI. Corporate integrity is a really, really important part of that. And I think we have to be really careful and all organizations have to do this, is to ensure the benefits for society and their customers is delivered without the single pursuit of just the bottom line. And navigating that fine line, I think is super, super important. And we've seen this already. We've seen organizations that don't pay careful attention to corporate in integrity. Um, we've seen their share prices suffer. We've seen customers flee from those organizations. And I, and I think as time evolves, customers are far more attuned to the way corporates behave and the impact of their systems. And if we believe that corporates are power hungry and the bottom line is all they care about, I think they will lose out. But I think AI can be a wonderful technology to be able to ensure that benefits are delivered.